Welcome to the Laurent Collective Podcast, where we go deeper than just surface talk. Each week, we'll explore everything from family, business, creativity, culture, and faith. To make sure not to miss an episode, be sure to subscribe and hop on to Instagram at Laurent Collective to chat with us about this episode. Hello, we hello, are hello. back today, and we have a special guest. Hi. <laughs> Zane, our oldest son, who is 14, yes, um, is with us today. And um, yeah, we, uh, a lot of you, we had our podcast that the kids, we interviewed all the kids, and a lot of you asked that you wanted to hear from them again. Yeah. Um, and so we're bringing Zane on today to talk about something because all three of us have something in common, and it is that we are all the oldest children in our families. Yeah. 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 Yep. How do you feel about that, Zane? How do I like feel in general about being the being oldest? The oldest? Um, uh, to be honest, it, it has some advantages and it has some disadvantages. I mean, you know, you'll get to have things first. You don't really uh, get any hand-me-downs. Whereas, like, you know, <laughs> Jude is, I mean, in fairness, Jude is about the same size is well i mean not about the same size but he is using my <laughs> shoe shirts. size he's, he's, yeah, he's the same shoe size size wise he's, he's catching up to you the same shirt yes so that so is hand me downs, not good hand me downs don't really don't relate don't reply to him yeah don't so <laughs> yeah but i mean you get everything first essentially i mean it's pretty nice you you govern the house when you guys oh you around. do <laughs> in a sense really? when we're that's not, not here. what i mean you govern yeah. the house this is like how do i <laughs> don't you mean you govern. get to babysit yeah like, okay I, I babysit that's not what i mean yes <laughs> that's yes. right it's a good word being the oldest you definitely have you end up with more responsibility i do you're yeah. right you're because your brother does often say do i ever get to have new clothes and he does, but it's usually the boring stuff, like yeah. trousers and stuff. And, and socks. <laughs> yeah. Because mine, mine will have holes in them. So. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. But yeah, so that that's that's one advantage. What is uh, What was an advantage for you? What do you think an advantage Ooh, was for you? An advantage? Of being older, the oldest. Um... I can I am I'll be honest. Well, I'm drawing some blanks because for me I felt like it was a disadvantage for me just, a lot. Yeah, but because But I also was the only girl the in my only family. Girl. So I had two younger bro- girl, I have two younger brothers so. and I was the oldest girl so I think I had It was kind of different though yeah, in like, some ways for you. It's the flipped family aspect to ours. So Yes, cuz we have two yeah. boys and then the youngest is a girl. But so. for you my like you actually because you have a brother that's 10 years younger than you, you actually ended up caring for him yes. in a lot of ways yeah my mom worked on weekends and stuff because she um photographed weddings and stuff like that and so on a lot of the weekends my dad would just look at me and say here's your brother uh, <laughs> and i mean not that he was neglecting you guys no right? he wasn't like, he, thrust he just, him into yeah. your arms yeah the, your brother so you i was care of him. at 10 i was changing diapers and all the baby stuff and things like that and got used to it very quickly um where somehow my brother who's 18 months younger than me <laughs> yeah he got off i don't understand what he was doing then i mean he was eight when spencer was born my brother was born um but somehow yeah got, i was looked to as oh, the, yeah. the helper I, did, I don't i don't really f- remember having advantages of being older because i think growing up like it wasn't a bad thing, but like my brother and I always would get the same things. Or like if I got something that your he, mom still he does get, that, she still does that. And there, there's <laughs> nothing, there's nothing wrong with that. Like I love that about my parents. But I don't know if I ever felt like I had an advantage because I was older. I mean, obviously, I would. I ended up getting things before my brother, like my driver's license and things like that. That I got those privileges before him. But yeah, but it doesn't. It never. I don't think I ever felt like. I had an advantage. Mm. Do you feel like, Zane, do you feel a different kind of responsibility because you're older? Because you're the oldest. Uh, I do. I do feel a responsibility. Like, I mean, it. they're my siblings. They're people I need to take care of. They're people I should care about. Should? Should. <laughs> Maybe you should say, I, I do. I, I do. I do. <laughs> I, I, I promise you. <laughs> I figured you meant oh, that. Oh, no. So yeah. you feel that kind of responsibility. Yeah. 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 
I think I I think that's a natural tendency. Yeah, I feel like I felt some kind of responsibility too, especially. I mean, my brother was eighteen months younger, and we were just, uh, you know, in school years. We were just one year apart. Well, we were supposed to be two years apart. That's a whole other story. I went to I I did a school year twice, um, and so then we were only one school year apart. Wait, what? I didn't. You didn't know that? I didn't know that. Mommy went to kindergarten twice. Don't make fun of me. It was a horrible. <laughs> I will have to talk about. It. Like I can remember everything about that. Um. Anyway, so because of that, we were like, now you're gonna make fun of me. This is I am, it's yeah. something I'm still sensitive about. I feel like. Um. Anyways. Um. So, but then having a brother for me, at least, that's like you and your sister. Your sister's seven, seven years. Than you. <laughs> I don't know why it took me a minute to do the math there. <laughs> seven and a half years younger than you, and for me, you know, I had a brother that was ten years younger than me. And so I did, like, feel like kind of a protective responsibility yeah. in some ways over him. Do you feel that way with your sister? I mean, I wait, mean we she's were talking about, like, I think I was talking about with dad. If, if she had, like, when she's older, if she gets any boyfriends, oh, it has yeah. to come through me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> in some ways, that's helpful for my night. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're looking out for her before we have to. So yeah, she will have interviews, I think, from both you and your brother, <laughs> whoever she decides to date, I guess. Yeah. So, it's, Just yeah. Like, it, uh... like, can we not talk about that? Please? Okay, yeah. Let's change the subject. None of it. Your sister's seven. Yeah. Let's, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah. That's fair. So, okay. So, that's interesting. Did you feel a different kind of responsibility? Like, uh, not necessarily that for your I mean, brother, but... I think I've talked a little bit about it, but, like, growing up, like, we... My brother and I, our family, we moved around a lot, and there was, like, one year where we were in a different school every school year for three years in a row. Um, and so, I think... I don't know if it was... F- I f- at that moment, I felt a responsibility. I don't know if I understood what that meant, but I always wanted to make sure that, like you know, I was looking out for him, like when we were going in and stepping into new schools and things like that. And, and I'm sure he did the same thing to me as well. Like we made sure that we were, you know, if we didn't have anybody to sit with at lunch, like we would sit together with each other at lunch and things like that, that we looked out for one another. So I don't know if I understood that that's what that was at that time. But I think um, instinctively, we probably both did that for each other in some ways. Mm -hmm. Um, But I do think as being the older brother, you definitely, I think, feel more of that weight in a sense that you want to make sure you make sure your brother's doing okay and or your younger sibling is doing okay. So yeah, 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 yeah. That makes sense. I think um, it, it's it's bad to say like what are the disadvantages, but I'll say for us as parents as of <laughs> you, and I'm sure this was the case for parents of us being the oldest. Oh boy, is you kind of are a trial kid. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that we get we, to try everything. On I you. mean, not that you ever know what I you're mean. doing. <laughs> Your brother and sister are such va- you three of you are such vastly different personalities and the way you respond to things. I mean, we were just yeah. talking this morning about the fact that like, oh, yeah, um, you know, for Zane, he you were much more introverted. And so um, for Zane, when he was little, like a toddler and stuff, if we did any kind of, um, we didn't call the timeout. What did we call it? A reset. A reset. Yeah, That's a what reset. we called it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, kind of like a timeout but we called it a reset like you need to calm down whatever you have done or that kind of thing you need to reset so we called it a reset and for zane putting him in something like that he was so happy because he's an introvert and so he was like great i get to sit here on my own and it wasn't a punishment for him so it didn't work i get to sit and just think about he was like with my own mind yeah i mean even as a toddler he'd be like oh thank you like and we're (laughs) like this is not working whereas jude your brother is our um, I mean, to say extrovert might be a massive understatement. Like, I, he you is know, like definitely... Is there it's, something, like, more than that? I don't yeah. know. It might it's be. It's really you hard to, to handle word. his social calendar, yes, basically. exactly. <laughs> oh, so, I feel like a PA sometimes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he, he is very much an extrovert. And so, for Jude, putting him in a reset was, like the worst thing in the world oh, uh, it was just we actually you had know, to strap him in his, we did like, because his, he wouldn't sit his seat that he's he very physical in. as yeah. well and stuff like that i mean it just and then veda she only gets to the point where she needs to reset when she's super tired so whenever we would put her in a reset she'd fall asleep so like three different kids and then it was like i don't know if she really got the lesson because she's just tired yeah. is when she yeah. throws a fit um or when she used to um so i think that is something interesting that like again that was a trial and error of like testing and now even that you're a teenager like we are you know for for here in the uk you've just entered your gcse years and stuff like that and so like 
that's all new for mom and dad because we didn't grow up here. So all that stuff is brand new for us. And like we're learning all the stuff where we've just gone through and looked at secondary schools with your brother. And I'm like, oh, I know this stuff. I know it. Like when we did it yeah. with you, we I was like, gee, what? How do you, gee, what? Like, <laughs> I don't you know. even know what that even was. I mean, <laughs> as far as even like the letters, I think I just probably. I, yeah. I still don't know what it stands for. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. funny. I don't either. We're going to need to Google that. Yeah. Um, or like A-levels and stuff like that. Like when we were going through, I, was I, like, I don't I know what that I honestly always still feel like like it's made up. Like it like it is Harry Potter. Like I just don't understand it. Like with the, the owls and the newts. The owls and the newts and like all that stuff. Like GCSEs, A-levels, like it just doesn't sound real. It sounds make-believe. So yeah. So do know. my question is in saying that I feel like we're on a trial basis sometimes with you and you are the one that we test some things out with. Now, to be fair, some things will be vastly different because your brother's personality yeah. is very different and same with your sister. Yeah. Um, do you feel like we're trying things out on you? <laughs> um It's an interesting question. <laughs> I mean, in a sense, I mean, it just sort of feels normal. I mean, I guess, I guess, because I mean, it's just what I've done. Uh, I'm, I'm just the oldest. That's just what I do. Yeah. And I mean, hey, sometimes it's you get perks with that. That yes. I mean, in a lot of ways, everything's gonna be new to you, right? And like yeah. us. Yeah. And so even if we probably, I don't know dealt with stuff here and we already knew all the stuff here it would still feel new i think in some ways to us yeah. and still kind of well and and like a, in a trial and yeah even ways, it, so. going through some of the similar stuff now that with your brother that we did with you like looking at secondary school and stuff like that it did feel new because he's different yeah and so the things he some of it i was like uh i'm hearing the head teacher talk at another school this is all the same but it felt new because things he was looking at and cared about and stuff like that were different than, you then, know, or, yeah. or looking at how your brother is so extroverted and thinking like, is this school a good fit for him because yeah. of that or not, or those kind of things. Um, so yeah, things that are new and different, mm -hmm. but, and yeah, I think, um, you know, like you being a teenager, clearly like that's, that's a whole new thing for us mm -hmm. and, and dealing with all the stuff that comes with that. Do you like being the oldest? Um, to be honest, I, I, I do. I, I do think I like being the oldest. Um, I, I don't feel like I, like, I don't, I can't imagine it being any other way. So true. True. I, I don't, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm perfectly fine with being the oldest. I like being the oldest. There's all, so Zane, there's all these like studies and all mm -hmm. this stuff out there about oldest children mm. and they tend to be the ones that are like feel like they should be perfectionist <clears throat> your dad um, <laughs> excuse me <laughs> um they How tend... interviewing zane <laughs> <laughs> um they tend to be like a bit of overachievers and just feel a lot of responsibility and weight on their shoulders and stuff Do you... and i know we talked about that a little bit like and i and again i think some of that is because as parents it's not that we're putting that stuff on you, but like we're we're trying to figure it out too. Yeah. And so there's a lot of like, oh, like, oh, oh, we're supposed to, you know, the schools are saying you're supposed to do these things. Okay, you should do these things. And then mm. we get to the second one and we're like, oh, actually, that's not that big of a deal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or actually, that's not really going to work for yeah, you. So that's, that's, uh, who cares about that? Yeah. You know, have you, do you feel that sometimes? Um, I mean, Sometimes, yeah. I feel like. I, I feel like there is a lot of responsibility with, like, uh, I mean, especially with moving and, you know, going through all the new school systems and all the, I guess, new culture and et cetera, et cetera. There is a little bit of responsibility to be, like, to, I feel like, uh, take in all of this stuff and then be, and then be passing it on to my siblings and mm. be like, okay, guys, mm. this is, I mean, <clears throat> they're obviously, like you said, they're vastly different, but it, it. It, there is a responsibility to go and say, all right, guys, this is how you do this. Mm -hmm. And maybe this might not, this, this didn't really work for me, but it might work for you. But if it doesn't work, this is how I did that, you know, yeah. And, yeah. and so on and so forth. So, yeah, I do feel like there's a Do you feel pressure if you mess up that well, that's going to affect <laughs> your brother or sister? Because, affect because, listen, because, if like, your brother if goes to the same school as you, for well, instance. Well, I'm just or... thinking, like, or just in general, like, you know, mm -hmm. there are a lot of things that you, you know, the independence um, and being more independent 
comes a lot faster here in some ways because mm. we live in a city it probably would be city. the same if we lived in a city in yeah the States, true too and i think but things like going you know, to things on your own yeah and going to public are, transport public transport walking to school you like, got a phone much earlier than we would have given you a phone yeah. in the states because we want to be yeah. able to track you and see where so you do are because with some of that stuff like if you don't do you know if if you might mess up or whatever because we all mess up right yeah um do you feel pressure in that because then are you thinking that might affect like when Jude gets a phone or if like if you did you know or do you think or about that at all? if you it's okay like, if you don't I I mean I don't really you don't feel about yeah I, I, I'm curious to see what happens with Jude when he gets his phone because <laughs> no 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 what I'm saying is he all, all I'm saying is he is the extrovert in, in the I family. know. <laughs> if right. I if I'm if I'm on my phone a lot talking to my friends, he has a cat. What is he Jude doesn't... going to be like? <laughs> I don't know. It'll be, be it will be interesting. I think it'll be interesting because I see. think he just doesn't. He also doesn't have a desire for it. Well, he prefers face to face. Yeah. So because yeah. he does, he's never liked. He's opposite. never even liked to, to FaceTime or anything. Like lockdown was so hard for him because he was like, I want them right here. Yeah, I don't, I don't want, want them Zoom. on Zoom or yeah. FaceTime or something like that. So yeah, it will be interesting. Yeah, but, I, th- I think. We'll, but we'll again, I happens. think that yeah. that is such a great point. As when you are the oldest, like for instance, you did get a phone when you entered into secondary school because you were going to be walking to school on your own, taking public transport for certain things, and and we wanted to know where you were. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. And that was a huge adjustment for us because for us, yeah. we were like, they, they're not getting. You know, we had in our heads that you guys weren't getting phones till a much later date, and you would have been eleven when you entered. Um, of course, you have a phone that we don't allow certain, you don't allow on social media and things like that. Like, we still have strict rules with a lot of things. Um, we made you sign a contract, which I think we need to pull out again because I think you have forgotten the amount of time you're allowed on it after school. <laughs> um, but We don't talk about that. <laughs> you did sign it. I guess we didn't um, necessarily <laughs> revise the contract. Once he got older. As he's gotten older, that probably yeah, should probably, yeah. be tweaked a little bit. We will have a talk with our, our lawyers. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> to revise the contract. We might need to. Yeah. <laughs> but all that to say, we have had to test that. Entering into that thing, into a phone, you know, you having a phone and what comes with that has been a learning experience yeah you know and that kind of stuff has been things it has, of a, like, it has been a trial for you guys and it's been a trial for me so yes exactly yeah. i mean we have yeah. definitely butted heads on things with it <laughs> for sure um it's a bit of an understatement <laughs> well i think the other day you were looking at your phone i was so it annoyed could be a lot worse they could be worse you were on you were on your phone you had it so close to your face that i just came by and i said get off your phone and i flicked the phone up and it hit you <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. It was but... not that close. You like properly like <laughs> smacked it. <laughs> Because uh, you have been looking down at it so long. It's like, get off of it. Um, so, yes, we we do run into those mm. trials as well. But, yeah, it's been that has been a learning. But, and like you said, it probably will be a different experience. It will be. It'll be a different yeah. experience Ooh, with yeah, your brother it, and with your sister because they're different. Yeah, it'll but... be different. So yeah. one of the other big... Uh... I don't know how, how to say it, but one of the big things in the house is because you are the oldest, you also have had to share a room <laughs> with your younger brother for well, very long. Let's and be you clear. Just... He's not that's not new to us living in London. He no. shared a room yeah, yeah. with oh, yeah. Jude since yeah. he was yeah. Jude was three months old. You two have been in the same And so room. to be honest, you're getting to <laughs> a, an age where you don't want to share. Yes, a room. that is correct. <laughs> But at the same but time. But we live in London. And but we, we live in London. That's it, a lot that, of... It, yeah. Living in London, I mean, it, it's just going to happen. I would really prefer to have my own room because he is... His, his sleep habits confuse me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are in a bunk bed right now, too. I'm, I'm in a bunk bed. And he's above you. But he he will have, like, every single light on the, on in the room except for the overhead. And I'm not sure why... He just does. Yeah. And so I have to wait for him to go to sleep, which can sometimes like be instant. Sometimes it's like I have to wait for like three hours for him to go to bed. And then I turn everything off and then I wake up in the morning. Everything is on again. (laughs) And it's like six o'clock in the morning. And I'm like, dude, why are you awake? He's just like, I can't go to sleep. I'm drawing. I'm reading. and, And and then he'll just it'll wake me up. It'll wake me up. And yeah. then my sleep schedule will start, you know, following his sleep schedule. And it just, 
it all muddles up and is super annoying and yeah that's fair that's yeah. fair that has so to do be you difficult. feel like sometimes then you feel like you because you're the oldest you sacrifice some things sacrifice my sleep schedule yeah well, like because <laughs> yeah. because you have younger siblings right like there are certain things that maybe you know you have to sacrifice because of yeah. what they're doing or like what movies we watch on the weekend together as a family or things like that that a you might bit, want yeah. to you know get to a point where you want to watch some more mature stuff and things like that yeah. where they you know we just aren't able to do that quite yet with them so. yeah exactly well i think for me i'm thinking like when you know me growing up and stuff like that there were certain things that you know um it, having it, for instance with your sister having a brother that was so much younger than me like you know i bought my first car like i did these certain things with like jobs that i had and then when he came around my parents were much more lenient and we're like oh i mean you don't have to have a job i'm like when i was the age and you know whatever age it was that you could finally go get a job in the 16? states no i think it was i worked maybe younger was than that about, maybe 14 you had a certain number of hours you could only do and your grandparents were like get out go find a job go do something um because you're gonna have to start paying for things um and then spencer i don't even know when he finally got a job that i was like excuse me i mean by that time i was in <laughs> university um heck we might even been married at that when he started to get that old um and I was like, what, is there a reason why he's not having to work and he has a car now? <laughs> um, so there was definitely a lot of that stuff that I was like, um, what? I mean, yeah. I'm thankful for so much of it because it did like shape mm -hmm. me and stuff like that. Um, it builds character. Exactly. It, it built yeah. character. But um, it'll be interesting as you get older. And you, I mean, your sister said the other day, she was like, Oh my goodness! When Zane's in, in your, I'm not gonna try and do the British accent because she says university in a very <laughs> yeah. British way. Um, but she said when Zane's in university, it'll be just Jude and I, and then when Jude's in university, I'll be the only kid in the house. And I thought, oh my, that was what my brother was. <laughs> and yeah. I remember thinking all the things he got to do when he was the only kid in the house, and my brother and I were gone. That we were like, wait, what? No. We never got to do that. <laughs> I definitely think like being the oldest you you learn a lot faster or I, not maybe learn a lot faster but you are forced to try things and do things forced <laughs> yeah well because you're you, you don't have anyone else to to look up to in a sense yeah. that has done something before right mm -hmm. so you're yeah. stepping into you're stepping into things for the first time in some ways as as a part of your family unit um, and so you're the one that's kind of spearheading everything yeah. in a lot of ways. So your brother and your sister are coming behind you. I know I kind of felt that way with my brother as well. Um, but because we were so close in age, it didn't necessarily feel as drastic as maybe you and your siblings. Yeah. Um, and so I think, I don't know, there's something fun about that. And I think that that, like you just said, Zane, like it does build character. It does change yeah. um, because you're, the way you your perspective on the world will be vastly different than your brother and sister because of how you've had to spearhead a lot of things in our family as the oldest. So, yeah. Yeah. I think so too. I mean, I would say that's, that's true. true. Yeah. 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 I think it's, I sometimes I, um, uh, feel bad maybe i don't i don't know what the feel word is bad. feel bad because i do sometimes think like where i'm like oh gosh we tried that thing and that did not work with zane we know not to do that uh -huh. again um and i mean it's nothing like major i'm let's be clear i'm sure whatever age you decide to start going to therapy or counseling because we will say you should go because it makes you a healthy oh, person yeah. i can only imagine the things that you i mean there yeah. have been a couple instances where we have walked away from a situation and i've thought He'll talk to his therapist one day about that one, because <laughs> like we are not perfect right. parents, no, by, and by we have no messed up, and no. we have lost our cool, and things like that. Um, you know, but I think the thing that I appreciate with uh, with the three of us, and you know, brother and sister, but the relationship we're building as you get older is like even mm. the other night. I think we did have a row about the phone, and you were very emotional about it. And then you came back a couple hours later after you had calmed down to say, I'm yeah. sorry. And like we had a conversation about like both of us being upset about certain things and talked through it and stuff yeah. like that. And like that's the kind of stuff as I see you maturing 
and that, that's not just maturing, but that's also like taking on certain responsibilities. I've seen you do the same thing with your brother and sister mm. and stuff like that of like being the oldest and, and some of those responsibilities that come. I know it can be a lot of pressure, um, mm. but also yeah. you do it in a really like you do it really well is what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to give you a compliment is what I'm doing. Thank you. <laughs> That was that was a very long winded. Com- yes, yeah. <laughs> oh, because you never are long winded, right? Never. Nope, no, no, never. No, obviously not. Never. Um, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I think that was just. I'm trying to think. If there's any other things with being being the oldest of, and I probably my guess would be most parents are probably strictest with their oldest, mm. and so we probably are the strictest with you mm-hmm. because again because we don't know really how far out we can the, let the chain the, like the chain I was or the, the rope or the or the leash <laughs> the leash <laughs> oh my goodness your dad needs to stop I saying these things we do have a saying in our house that like you know the the rope that we're holding on to a little bit with you like it gets extended the more you earn our trust right and we use this a lot for like we have one child that well, all of you tried to lie to us. Some of you are better than others at lying. Um, you're horrible. I... <laughs> Actually, he, you have pulled a couple things on us, though. No, I... I... The homework situation and things like that, but... When I, like, really need to, I can... <laughs> really but you always get caught and that's the thing we always say eventually our hope is that when you are doing something you're not supposed to or you're lying that you get (laughs) caught so that us as parents right now can guide you through that um but you keep trying certain things but even in that though (laughs) yeah i do i do think we are stricter with you probably now again some of that is to do with personalities of your siblings and stuff like that but i don't know if stricter is a, the, is the right word it's just maybe we again because we don't know certain things i think like, i think we're kind of more on alert yeah more with you <laughs> than your brother and sister but. do you feel that way yes <laughs> <laughs> ah, there it is. Yeah. I'm trying to think if my parents were that way, though. I don't... Oh, oh my gosh. My parents were horrible that... Again, I don't know if that's because I was a girl or because I was the oldest. It's probably a combo of the both. But, yeah. like, I mean, even back in the day when we didn't have cell phones, back in the day, and I had to, like, if I moved a location... I had to find a payphone to call to say I had moved to said location. And my dad would drive around the area we lived in and see if I was actually at the place I said I was. Because sometimes I lied. Can you believe it? And that kind of thing. Um, And I wasn't there. And, I mean, the amount of times your grandfather pulled up to say, get in the car. You're not where you're supposed to be. You're grounded. Um, like that was totally embarrassing. Yeah. Gosh, I don't know, but and and they did not do that with either of my brothers. Yeah. So I don't, I, I don't feel like I had that as much. So well, I mean, you were pretty close to Uncle Brian. Brian, Brian yeah. So. yeah, and age oh, age wise, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, yeah. and we hung out with relatively the same people for the most most part. Yeah, so, so maybe that yeah. makes a bit of a difference. Yeah. But yeah, well, thanks for being a amazing. Older, older child oldest. i know and, and, and being our trial I'm kid so amazing oh well let's oh, wow. come well, on now you are i am you are amazing but let's be let's not have too big of a head now let's be humble as well maybe <laughs> not so much no, no. you are no, amazing please. and we are thankful for you any ad- last advice for anybody who is the oldest child that might push, be- through. <laughs> push through push through <laughs> Gosh, you make it. Because you're some... you're I gonna know. you're gonna leave the nest first. I yeah yeah. <laughs> oh, he is so excited because of especially because of having your own room. You have said so many times. I can't wait till university. I I'm barely so coming home. Plans. You have so many plans for decorating his room. Yeah, I mean I everything. Sense. It's that that cracks me up every time you start talking about that of how excited you get. And I'm happy for you in that because it will be nice that yeah. you have your own yeah. room because that's just how we have chosen to live even when we were in the states that you've yeah. shared a room. So, but you and but you hopefully you will look back on this time as you are older and you get older that you'll be like, "Oh, you know what? That really was some moments that I created with my little brother and my sister, like and because you, I shared. I mean, and then there's moments where they're breathing down your neck, yeah, well, and asking you, you to play because they want you. Same. Play Zane. with us right now. And I know how it feels when you guys go, mom, mom, yeah, mom, exactly. mom. That's what it feels True. like. True. And That's then I go, like. uh, I'm right here. No one's saying my name. <laughs> Why do they all say mom? 
Uh, yeah, and I think, you know, I think saying of even the moments of when your brother was younger and Jude... Jude has just always been our adventure one and he could climb out of the crib at like nine, eight, nine months. And because you two were sharing a room, Zane would see him stuck on the like crib. Trying to get out. Yeah. He would be stuck. He could get to climb himself to a certain point and then he was a little afraid to drop to the floor. We only found out this was happening because we were so confused how every single morning when we would come in to wake you guys up that Jude would be in the bed with you, cuddling with you in a sleep. And we were did not know. We were like, how is Zane, as a three-year-old, lifting him up out of there? And then we put we put something over we recorded you guys one night and saw that Jude was getting stuck. He was climbing out. He was getting stuck. You would come get him and help him get down, and then you two would go in your bed and fall asleep together. And even if he forgot his blanket or his little special lovey, you would go get it and bring it <laughs> and stuff. So, like... Still, to this day, there yeah. are certain you guys are so encouraging and are just so supportive of you're so supportive of them. I love like when one of them needs a hug or something like that. Like you are like, oh, I'm not too old and I'm not embarrassed to give my siblings a hug yeah. in public and things like that. So you do so much to really encourage them as well, even though I know there are other times where you guys are yelling at each other and of course. you are That's annoyed normal. to no end with yeah. them and stuff like that. Um, That's just Yeah, happen, we're just though. thankful for. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We're thankful for. You being awesome, being an awesome older child, and oh if you goodness. could see if the hand motions see. he's doing right now, <laughs> he's like acting like he's. We're gonna need to go take. We're gonna of... need to go take Zane off his um his high place. He thinks he's on now. <laughs> the high place. Let's like say high horse or the expression properly. Oh, sorry. Okay. All right. All Anyways, right. It's an idiom. All right. So now we're gonna no, knock him off idiom? his That's... high horse. Hold on. He's trying to knock. <laughs> all right anyways yeah. thanks for joining us again zane yes yeah zane. we'll have you back again for another topic let us know on um, what you would like to hear from zane on oh, yeah. possibly sure um if there's any topics yes. you would like to hear his input um I, there's some i can think of that maybe people would like but yeah, yeah we will have you back again well i mean it's not your choice it's their choice so <laughs> <laughs> yes it is your choice did you hear zane so send us some questions and stuff you have for him and yeah. um we will we will ask them yeah Sounds All good. Right. See ya. Does Christmas feel like a blur to you and your family most years? We found that to be true. We'd get to the new year wondering what on earth happened to the holiday cheer and the time to relax with family. So when our oldest son was young, we tried a simple daily activity during the month of December to make sure we were spending time together. We added in reading a small bit of the Christmas story from the Bible each day. The activities didn't take a ton of thought, and it made us stop in the middle of the rush to be together and remember what the season was all about, celebrating Jesus' birth and being thankful for the people God placed in our lives. We wanted to share this simple, slow-down method with other families, so we made the Bible verse and activity advent calendar. Each calendar comes with the t- with 25 4x4-inch four four prints. One side has a Bible verse to read each day, and the other side has a family activity to do together. You can pre-order your advent calendars now. The calendars will ship out the week of November 8th to get them to you in time for December. You can send them as gifts to others as well with a personalized gift message. Head over to LaurentCollective.com to grab an advent calendar for you or to gift it to somebody else. We hope the time together makes the Christmas season seem less like a blur and instead filled with simple, beautiful memories. Thanks for joining us on today's episode of the Laurent Collective Podcast. If you enjoyed today's podcast, be sure to subscribe and leave a review, which helps others find our podcast. Continue the conversation with us over on Instagram at Laurent Collective. We look forward to going deeper than just surface talk with you again next week. Mm